Hello everyone, hello my amazing friends and welcome to Soul in the Raw. Today I'm really excited to bring you vegan success stories and what I wanted to do is interview people just like you who transitioned pretty recently to a whole food plant-based diet and just ask them about their challenges, their successes, um, what they're still dealing with now if anything and any tips they have for all of you to succeed on this lifestyle. Um, so I'm really excited for you to watch this first vegan success story with Nancy. And one little caveat is I'm really, really, really sorry, but the audio is a little bit funky. You can still hear the message in the story, but it's a little bit funky. So I did uh, write a summary for all of you because I didn't want to bother Nancy who has four kids and interview her one more time. So I made a little summary that's going to be linked up here and uh, in the description box. So just click on that. It's a short little summary with all the main takeaways and just Nancy's whole story. And one more cool thing is I have a free two week uh, whole food plant based meal plan and grocery list. It is so freaking delicious, high raw, really, really amazing meals that Nancy actually tried out and loved. She did it with her husband. So if you are transitioning and you're a little bit confused about what to eat or you're just looking for really yummy recipes and grocery lists and everything organized for you, Make sure to download that. That is going to be linked below. And without further ado, let's get into Nancy's story. What has inspired you to eat plant-based and how did you first hear about this lifestyle? Okay, so, okay, so honestly, honestly um, um, being plant-based, plant I, I wanted to do for years, for, years. for like over 10, like years. over 10 years. So I've been a vegetarian for about 13 about years now. Years. Oh, okay. And since and then, since I then, wanted to I become all plant-based, but back then, I used to think it was really hard to do mm -hmm. because I wasn't educated. I wasn't, I wasn't even educated as a vegetarian. I just kind of did it. And I just mm -hmm. knew that I had to omit the meat part of it. Um, yeah. But I've always wanted to be plant-based. And so about a year and a half ago, I actually got on Instagram for the first time. <laughs> And, you know, people and were telling me, you know, to follow all these plant-based um, um, people and stuff like that. So I kind of started learning a little bit more about how to be plant-based. And then I got a little more education on, you know, like restaurants that are open around my area and things like that. Because that's not very, um, how do I say, like, um, advertised, I guess, you know, like. You mm -hmm. So do you have any strictly vegan restaurants yes. or are they just oh we you do. do okay that's very nice. little but mm -hmm. we do, little, but we do. <laughs> <laughs> which is enough for me it's better than none so <laughs> yeah of course um so once i did um, get a little so more education little more and education. nowadays it's like you can you know everything is substituted you know so i went to whole food mm -hmm. and i looked around and i was like wow this is amazing. I can actually eat all plant-based without having to sacrifice, you know, much of the stuff like cheese. Cheese is a big one. <laughs> so that that's that's kind of my story. So um, what was really the reason behind you? Because you said I always wanted to be plant-based. What was drive? What was the driving? So the driving force is, you know, I didn't want to put any more animal products in my body for many reasons. Mm -hmm. um, you know, health reasons, um, you know, spiritual health reasons. reasons. Uh, I believe, you know, that all animals are, you know, they're equal are, and they shouldn't suffer for us. And, and it, for we can, us. we can survive without we having to ingest them. them. Yeah. And that's beautiful. Do you feel like spiritually, do you feel that, um, violence that you consume through food really affects Yes, our definitely. Body? Of course. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And so how long were you vegetarian before you were plant-based and how long have you been? So I was vegetarian probably for 11 so years before I went completely plant-based. And so now I'm almost two years on the plant-based. Almost two years on the plant-based. That's awesome. And was it literally like overnight, okay, now I'm vegan and before I was vegetarian or was it? It was gradual. The, the vegan part of it was, was very gradual because uh, it's a little more difficult 
than than the meat part. When I when I did the the vegetarian thing, it, that was overnight. I, one day I I was eating a piece of chicken. I was like, I can't anymore. This is it. It's over. <laughs> and then the the vegan part was a little more gradual, just because uh, again the cheeses. <laughs> I thought uh, that I, I couldn't live life without cheese, which is a, which is a, a total myth. Yeah. Uh, so the cheeses kind of kind of um, uh, so held me back a little bit, and sometimes kind of, um, like baked goods held me back a little bit sometimes. And and right and milk. So. Um, yeah. But now it's not so bad because mm-hmm. everything I make, but now you know, is made with either almond milk or flaxseed or a banana to replace the egg. So. Is it really easy for you now, or do you still ever have? So I don't have any cravings anymore, so but I don't any sometimes, like if, mm-hmm. if something is in my face, <laughs> then I don't know if I would call that a craving. But if mm-hmm. it's in my face, I'm like, ooh, that looks really good. Maybe I should try a piece and, and cheat today. Mm-hmm. Um, but for the most part, I don't. Today, but for the most part, I don't. And what helped you overcome the cheese? You know, cheese is like a real addiction. I can imagine. It's so crazy. I can yeah, it's um, there's a great book by Dr. Neil Barnard called The Cheese Trap, and he actually talks about how it's physically oh addicting, almost like a drug. Actually, like a drug, not even almost. Um, that helped me <laughs> hearing that cause I was also a cheese addict like you. But I'm wondering what you think. Uh, what, helped what helped me overcome is some of the substitutions uh, what helped me overcome uh, for for cheeses. Substitute. You know, like the Dias mm-hmm. and the and the um, uh, for, for the so like fresh or mm-hmm. I'm sorry, so delicious and stuff so like that. Fresh. Some of those brands are actually really good. Sorry, so so that helped mm-hmm. me overcome. And also, um, one of the that things I do every now and then is I do also, like a um, like a juice cleanse, and that's for you know mind, body, so all that stuff. And and that helps a lot with any kind of craving so when i go through the cleanse i usually you know mm. when i come out of it yeah, I'm, I'm not craving anything anymore so that's one of the things that helped as well yeah that's awesome it's yes. like cleansing your palate and then like restarting rebooting yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's true i did a lot of those too in the past yeah it was really helpful I guess you kind of covered this, but did you have any other major struggles, maybe with your family or your environment? Honestly, on I haven't. To be because my uh, husband, he's yeah, honestly, he's I on board been. with me. We kind of do this journey my, uh, together, both vegetarian and vegan as well. So um, yeah. we do it together. My kids, though, <laughs> my kids. That's all. Awesome. I have four kids. So, mm-hmm. Yes. How I many have kids? Four kids, have? and they all oh, eat wow. meat, but one. Okay. So I do still, you know, cook them their regular meal. Mm-hmm. I cook two different meals every night. Um, I do cook them their regular meals. But as wow. far as like the meat part, that's not that's not a problem for me. Um, it's never been exactly. Um, and I try not to use like a lot of processed cheese in their food anyway. So I don't. It, again, it's really not that much of a struggle with my family. Every everybody's pretty supportive. Do you have any tips? Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Do you have any tips for people? I know a lot of my audience makes the two <laughs> meals every day. Do you have any tips for that? Since I don't have kids. So, yeah, awesome definitely. I've been, you, so you now I guess that. I've been used to it for so many so, years. Yeah, I guess since I became a vegetarian, I've been used to cooking two so meals every night. So but years, if you I just make, make it part of your daily night. routine, but and part of your habit, it just, it comes natural. It's nothing anymore. Like, I tell people about it all the time. They're like, oh, my gosh, you're crazy. And I'm like, it's, it's not that hard. Just if you put it into your routine and just make it part of your evening or however it is your routine is for making making meals, then it just it just happens. Do you ever use the yes. vegan portion? And of I your even meal as like some nights I even like make that? everybody yeah. just eat a whole <laughs> vegan meal. Some nights I even make everybody just eat a whole, whole vegan meal. Yeah, that's awesome. But you don't force them. Yes, it's because like I believe that this is a choice. They decide, they want um, and I didn't want to. I wanted my kids to make their own choice. Like my older daughter, mm-hmm. she became vegan, um, and that was a and choice I of her want, own. I wanted my kids so I, I support them as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, your oldest one is a vegan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
cool. Well, maybe they'll follow. You never know, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, what positive changes have you seen? So, a, a lot of changes, especially health wise. Um, you know, I so, feel better. Uh, like, if I do put something, you know, um, negative in my I body, like, I feel it right away. So, my body just rejects. You know, you know, anything like, you know, like the process stuff and things like that. Um, so I feel a lot better. I think I look younger. I'm 40 years old. So not too, <laughs> it's not too bad. The aging process is going well ever since. So um, spiritually, I do feel better because I know that I'm not contributing towards, you know, harming animals and them suffering. And, and I know that it's still going to happen. You know, one person can't change at all, but you know, if each one of us gives a little piece or a little bit of contribution, maybe one day we'll be able to make it. Yeah. I am sure. I am convinced that one day we're all going to exactly. go vegan for exactly, animals yeah. and also for the environment. We kind of don't have nice. a choice at this point. So, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Did you feel? I don't any think so. Not really. Not not like digestion, digestion or, maybe, or anything like that. Or Just my, you know, like my that. stomach used to hurt a lot so, um, really before. You used to always have like irritation, like on, on the. Oh, yes, yeah, so I always had a real bad irritation, like in the lining, the top lining of my stomach. Um. So you used and to feel irritation that completely went away. Yeah. But uh, as far as digestion, I don't think, I don't think I really mm -hmm. felt any anything that different. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's a big thing, you know. I feel like when you switch, some people don't have an extreme difference, right, but exactly. they just feel better overall, and they okay, never yeah. expected okay. that before. Like, I can feel this good. That's awesome. Right, exactly. Oh, your video. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, and what inspires you to continue today? I would say like, definitely What is really reasons. your motivation? Um, I just wanted to continue to be healthy one, and, you know, grow old challenges. healthy so I can be there for my kids and my grandkids whenever those come around. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. I think that's the best part is the great. Yes. Yeah, so I did um, and the two I would love week to uh, Rob, for high raw diet that you, that you, that you have on the website. Yes. Yeah, so I did the two week. Uh, yes. And that was so amazing. Those yeah, recipes yeah, were uh -huh. so good. That's they were free, so the way, filling. So and you don't even really realize you're yeah. eating raw anyway yeah, at all. So you're just, it's just like a regular meal. Those um, so they were good. just, they were so delicious. Filling. The only part really about it is like with a busy schedule, yeah. just, it's, it's hard like to keep meal. fresh um, produce on hand. And if I'm cooking for me and my husband, those meals, then I'd have to rush to the store like every few days just because I would run out of something. But besides that, oh my God. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. It, it would work if, right, totally if you're more organized. Prep, I but, think with that, um, and to be like extra, extra organized. Right? Exactly. Yeah, definitely. But the yeah. recipes are great. I found amazing. Now, yeah. that, well, now it my can be tough. That one, my kids, digestive sure. system did change. Yeah. For the better. The with the raw diet. Now, that, now yes. It was amazing. It was. And eventually, awesome. uh, me and my That's husband talk awesome. about going yeah, with completely through, raw right? as well. It's just so. like so easy. Yeah. It was amazing. That's was. so cool. And eventually, uh, me and my husband talk about going yes. completely raw as well. Mm -hmm. so. Well, that one is yes, not exactly. completely raw. And I feel like it's way more sustainable with like a little bit more cooked food in there. Because no, it's just, not at like, all. comforting at night, mm -hmm. right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And you didn't have yes. difficulty sustaining it for those two weeks, like cravings or anything. No, not at all. Yeah, that's so awesome. I'm really glad to hear. That's amazing, Nancy. Um, so, I like to eat my oatmeal in the morning. Uh, what Usually, do you I, I like to make overnight oats. That's like Everybody my favorite. Loves hearing you know, that. some almond milk <laughs> right. and some oatmeal, and just add yeah. fruits and flavors so, to it. Like um, so I love oatmeal. Mm -hmm. And then probably like a salad and maybe some tofu on the side for lunch because I'm in love with tofu as well. <laughs> yes, you can do anything to tofu. 
you can make it taste like anything. Um, and usually for dinner, like I'll have probably so like some good. rice, beans. Um, we eat lots of legumes, yeah. like um, chickpeas and lentils and stuff like that. So. It is. It is, especially when you buy in the bag. Um, and it's so cheap. Too, honestly, right? I haven't really noticed. It's like all the things you described. Exactly yeah. right, because it's so many like of us in the house, and it's kind of hard to kind of tell. But yeah. Well, because you're still buying meat for the kids. Yeah. 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 So, um, and my last just, question is: Do you have any tips? All right, my for tips are watching, stay strong, obviously. Um, it's like, really mental. You know, just transitioning. So it's more mental anything. than anything else. So if so, this is a journey that you want to go on, just right, free your mind out. and you know, really let mm -hmm. the negativity so out. Um, and not just from so within, but from other people, because like at work, people are so negative about mind. this, you know. The meat eaters, they're like, oh, why do you do this? What's wrong with you? You know, I get all kinds of negative comments, but I, I don't care, honestly. I'm just like, whatever. I don't judge, what, you know, the piece of flesh on your plate. You know, don't don't judge what I have on my plate. Don't worry about what I eat. Um, so really, again, mental. It's very mental. Um, get all the negativity out and just get past it and don't worry about everybody else. You know, don't judge what I have on my plate. Don't worry about what I eat. So really, again, mental. It's very mental. Um, get all the negativity out. Yes. And don't worry about everything. Exactly. Yes. Awesome. Oh, that's so important. Thank you for saying that. I love that. Yeah. I think um, it's I love all this like lifestyle. about what you decide. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And you stay strong in it. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It is. It's the best anything decision else I ever make, like and I'm happy about it every single day. About? I don't regret a moment of it. Um, I love this lifestyle. Yay, yeah, me too. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> it is. It's the best decision I ever make. I'm happy about right. it every single day. That's so cool.